Hello everybody, how are you today? Um, uh, today it's our time for a new unit which title is Saving Other People. The title is Saving Other People. Okay, you are going look at this, this poster. You are going to read a true life story. A true life story about dogs and men who raised through snow and ice. You will listen or read a true life story about dogs and men who raised uh, through snow and ice. They saved the lives of many people, the dogs and the men uh, saved uh, uh, the lives of many people. It happened in Alaska, in the north of America. It happens in uh, Alaska, in, uh, in the north of uh, America. In this map, it shows uh, it shows us the location of uh, Alaska, and Alaska it is the most northern northerly state of the United States of America, in the very north of America. Okay, people traveled with dogs. This is uh, Mosher. Mosher. Mosher is a person who drives a dog sledge, as we see, who drives the dogs. We have uh, many types of uh, of dogs. We have husky dog, and we have lead dog. And the lead dog is uh, it's in the it's the first dog in the team. And also we have dog sled. Dog sled, it means uh, 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 the, the musher uh, drives the, log, the dog sledge uh, uh, in the, uh, in the uh, ice or the snow. In the north, there is snow and ice. In Alaska, there is snow and ice. Uh, in, uh, in blizzard, blizzard, there is blizzard and the blizzard is snow falling fast and heavily. This is a, a blizzard, a snow falling uh, fast and heavily, and also we have ice flow. Ice flow. It means a large flat, a large flat area of ice that float uh, in the ocean. This uh, this place or this uh, piece of ice, it is ice flow. It is a flat area. Uh, which is uh, float uh, in the ocean. Uh, again, it is Alaska, Alaska in the north of America. Um, it is about a true life, a true life story. And uh, people traveled with dogs. We have the mochair and we have types of dogs, husky dog, lead dog, and dog sled in the north or in the Alaska. We had uh, uh, snow and ice um, in many types. We have blizzard, and blizzard means uh, snow is falling uh, fast and heavily. And also we have ice flow. flow. Ice flow is a flat area of ice float uh, uh, on uh, the ocean. منطقة ومن من التلك بتطفو على الوجه المحيط. Okay. The other uh, poster, the story gives clean information in simple statements. Nome, Nome is uh, uh, the name of the town. It is a small town in the north of Alaska. There is a map to show where the events happened. The event happened. The events happened here in uh, Nome, and Nome is a small town in. Alaska. The story also described where events happened. It was a vast expanse of frozen sea, more than 50 kilometers across. There is only a, a little direct speech to make the story interesting. Someone or the uh, Ivanov shouted, I have the medicine. Ivanov shouted, I have the medicine. Now open your people's book, page uh, 120, and listen uh, to the speaker following the 
uh, the words uh, in your box okay listen carefully Pupil's book, page 120, unit 12, Saving Other People, reading. The Great Race of Mercy. This is the true story of how 20 mushes and 150 dogs saved the lives of 10,000 people in the winter of 1925. Nome is a small town in the north of Alaska. In January 1925, some children in the town became ill and died. The doctor realised it was a terrible disease. It could quickly infect and kill everybody in the town. Immediately, he sent for medicine. A plane was ready to fly the medicine more than 1,000 kilometres to Nome, but the weather was too cold and it could not take off. Only a dog sledge could take the medicine, but everyone asked, can the dogs reach Nome in time? Twenty teams of husky dogs and mushes ran as a relay. The first team left Nenana on the 27th of January in a gale and a snowstorm. The dogs raced through the night in minus 52 degrees Celsius. The next day, a new team carried on. The relay continued for four days and nights through thick snow and ice. The newspapers and radio carried the story. They called it the Great Race of Mercy. Everyone wanted the dogs to succeed. On the 31st of January, the medicine arrived at the coast. The quickest route to Nome was across the bay. It was a vast expanse of frozen sea, more than 50 kilometres across. Henry Ivanov set off with his team, but almost at once they ran into a reindeer and got tangled up. Just then, Leonard Sipala arrived from the north. He was the most famous and fastest musher. I have the medicine, Ivanov shouted. Sipala took the medicine and turned back towards the north into a raging blizzard. His lead dog was 12-year-old Togo. Crossing the frozen sea was the most difficult and dangerous part of the journey. The ice was breaking up. Once, the whole team was stranded on an ice floe. Togo had to jump 1.5 metres across freezing water. The harness broke, but Togo jumped into the water, took the harness in his mouth and pulled the ice together until it was safe for the rest of the team to jump. They reached the next team on the 1st of February. The medicine was quickly carried to the last team, which was led by Balto. Balto was not usually a lead dog, and he was only three years old. The musher was not sure that Balto had the strength and obedience of a lead dog. Balto led his team bravely all night, and they arrived in Nome early next morning. The medicine was safely delivered. The doctor treated his patients, and no more people died. Afterwards, Balto was a hero for a few months. Later, he was sold and shown around America, but he was badly looked after. Eventually, he was rescued and lived in a zoo. All the dogs who ran were heroes. Six of them froze to death on the journey. Togo lived to the age of 16. All the husky dogs in America today are descendants of Togo and the other brave runners of 1925. <clears throat> okay, let's explain what we heard. We heard about the great race of mercy, and mercy means okay, mercy means kindness. Mercy means kindness. Okay, this is the true story of how 20 mercies. Or, and 150 dogs saved the lives of 1,000 
of 10,000 people in the winter of 1925. Uh, this story is about uh, 20 marshes. Marshes means Marshes means a person who drives a dog sledge. Nome is a small town in the north of Alaska. In January 1925, some children in the town became ill and died. The doctor, the doctor realized it was a terrible disease. It could quickly infect. Infect. It means infect means uh uh. Bus a disease to someone. Bus the disease to someone. In fact, means means pass the disease to someone and they kill everybody in the town. Immediately, he sent for medicine. A plane, a plane was ready to fly the medicine more than 1,000 kilometers to Nome. But the weather, it is very cold. The weather was too cold and it couldn't take off. The plane couldn't take off in such weather. Only a dog sledge could take, could take the medicine, but everyone asked, can the dogs reach noon in time? That's the question. The time is very important for, uh, uh, for uh, uh, recovering or for uh, the illness or for the patients. Uh, they need the medicine. 20 teams of husky dogs and mushers ran as a relay. Ran as a relay. Relay is an activity that is done birds. An activity. Relay means activity. The first team left Nina on 27 January in a gale. It's a gale. A gale means a very strong wind a gale means very strong wind and a snowstorm and a snowstorm the dogs raced through the night in minus 52 uh, c it uh, c it means the temperature uh, measure of the temperature the next day uh, a new team carried carried on carried on means continue the relay the relay, its main activity, continued for four days and nights through thick, thick snow and ice. The newspaper and radio carried the story. They called it the Great Race of Mercy. Everyone, everyone wanted the dogs to succeed. On th uh, 31 January, the medicine arrived at the coast. The quickest road, the quickest Road, what does it mean? Road, road means uh, the way. Road, this word means the way, the quickest way to Nome was across the bay. Bay, bay, it means a part of the coast where the land goes inwards. Bay means khalik. It means khalik, a part of uh, the coast where the land goes inwards. It was a vast expanse of frozen sea. The sea was frozen more than 50, uh, 50 kilometers across. Henry Ivanov Eva, uh, set off uh, with his team, but almost at once they ran into a reindeer. Reindeer is a type of uh, uh, of deers. Um, it can live in, uh, in a cold weather, reindeer, and they got tangled up. Got tangled up. Tangled up means tie up. Tangled up means tie up. Uh, your boot. Tangled up or tie up. Just then, Leonard uh, Sapela arrived from the north. He was the most famous and the fastest Mosher, and he said, I have the medicine, Ivanov shouted. Sapila took, uh, uh, took the medicine and turned it back towards the north into a ringing blizzard. Ringing blizzard? Ringing uh, uh, means uh, 
blowing strongly ragging means blowing strongly and the blizzard is uh, the, uh, the storm of uh, snow or snow uh, storm uh, that's uh, falling and uh, he, uh, fast and heavily ragging blizzard means a, a snow a storm uh, blowing strongly okay he uh, his led dog was 12 years old togo crossing the frozen sea was the most difficult and dangerous part of the journey the ice was breaking up the ice was breaking up okay um and uh, once the whole team was stand, stranded stranded on ice uh, flow stranded uh, uh, means uh, unable to leave a place stranded is uh, to, it means yamkus uh, okay on ice flow to go ahead to jump 1.5 meters across freezing water the harness the harness the harness the harness means straps or ropes bell the harness is ropes that are put around uh, uh, an animal to attach uh, it to vehicles so it can pull up it pull up this uh, these are the harness these ropes are the harness okay Brooke uh, but Togo jumped into the water, took the harness in his mouth and pulled the ice together until it was safe for the rest of the team to jump. They reached the, the next team on the 1st of February. The medicine was quickly carried to the last team which was led by Balto. Balto was not usually a little dog and he was only 3 years old. The Mushir was not sure that Palto held the strength and obedience. Obedience. What does it mean? Obedience. Obedience means doing what you are told. Doing what you are told of a little dog. Palto led his team bravely all night and they arrived in Nome early next morning. The medicine was safely delivered. The doctor treated his patients and no more people died. Afterwards, Balto was a hero for a few months later. He was sold and shown around America, but he was badly looked after. Eventually, he was rescued and lived in a zoo. All the dogs who ran were, her were heroes. Six of them froze to death on the journey. Tago left uh, to the age of 16. Uh, old husky dogs in America today are descendants. Descendants means descendants mean the people or the uh, the animals uh, who are born into a family at a later time. Sulela, Sulela. Descendants means Sulela. Of, the, of Tago and the other brave runners of 1925. Okay, now uh, open uh, your box, page uh, 122. Match sentences, uh, beginning and endings. Match the sentences, uh, uh, beginnings and endings. Number one, name is no, I'm sorry, no, Nome is a small town. Nome is a small town. Huh. Nome is a small town. In the north of Alaska. In the north of Alaska. So Nome is a small town in the north of Alaska. Number two, the doctor realized... The doctor realized. The doctor realized it was a terrible disease. The doctor realized it was a terrible disease. Number three. Everyone hoped. 
everyone hoped everyone hoped the dogs would succeed everyone hoped the dogs would succeed number 4 the quickest route to know, to nome was the quickest route to nome was across the bay the quickest road to know was across the bay okay the uh, just then uh, leonard sapila arrived just then uh, leonard sapila arrived from the north he arrived from the north number 6 his le his lead dog was his lead dog was was 12 years old Togo. His lead dog was 12 years old Togo. Number 7. Once the whole team was stranded once the whole team was stranded on a, an ice floe once the whole team was stranded on and ice flow. The doctor treated his patients. The doctor treated his his patients, and no more people died. Okay. Talk about uh, the answers uh, uh, to these questions. Would you like to ride uh, in a dog sledge? Uh, in your point of view, why and why not? Which place do you think it's more dangerous? The, the architect or the desert and why what uh, uh, other animals help people what do uh, they do in your opinion okay match the words from the story uh, on the left with their opposites uh, meaning difficult the opposite is easy dangerous dangerous the opposite is excellent safe Number three, immediately, immediately, the opposite is later, immediately, the opposite is later, vast, vast, the opposite is tiny, vast, the opposite is tiny, number five, die, die, the opposite is die. Uh, uh, the opposite is live or live I'm sorry die the opposite is live number six terrible number six terrible the opposite is wonderful terrible the opposite is wonderful thick the opposite is thin thick the opposite is thin and succeed the opposite is fail a word with the opposite meaning to another word, it is an anton antonymy. Okay, these are the opposites. Uh, 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 difficult, uh, easy, dangerous.